Well guys, I got a package from Dave's Not Here 11 in Alaska, and he got a couple of challenge locks, but the one that grabs my eye, this little Abus 72. Yeah, very nice little lock, and this one has got some major customization, he says. So I couldn't resist it, being from Abus. By the way, he sent me a Alaska key, but no locks that go to that. He did send me a couple of other challenge locks, but I figured we would start here. Uh, works beautifully. It is a key retainer, and I notice the cylinder drags a little, but that is not spring-loaded, but it does work, so that's all that counts. Let's see if we can pick our way into this thing. Uh, we'll leave that there. Let's back this up. All right. I'm going to try this the easy way. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to have to find a tensioner. When you look at this keyway, pretty tight little keyway, I can't really use the bottom of it, so I'm going to use the top, and I'm going to grab a little bitty serrated uh, tension wrench, see if we can fit that in there somewhere. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Try this the easy way. Let's grab a rake. I'm going to use this one. It's a 18 thousandths. And I'm going to hope for the best. And I got nothing here. Let me try, let me try um, backing off, recocking everything. I'm going to apply a little more tension this time to try to push past that. That stickiness, and I got nothing. Okay, no problem, no problem. I'm going to try something a little different here. This is a new pick that I've grown to like. This is a Sparrows uh, Euro Profile. It's got a little club thing on the end of it. And let's see if we can find something here. I got pretty good tension on here. I'm looking for a binder. Feels like maybe three there. No. A little counter rotation on three, a little crunching going on there too. Oh, that was one. Oh! What a great pick! <laughs> I don't know that I must have raked something. I did not release my tension, so I can only imagine that I raked uh, more than one pin in place. Probably two or three of them. So let's see what we got inside of here. Um, all this stuff. I did not expect to get into a challenge lock that fast. All right. Um, I have not gone into an Abus in quite some time. And there's a detent in there. If I can find something that'll fit in there. It doesn't have a screw. It has a small detent. And if I can push the detent down, we can get this cylinder out. There we go. Now it's popping out. Good gravy. This is the little detent. Oh, now the little ball bearings fell out and the actuator fell out. But this is the little detent that you have to get. Let me close this blind. That sun just popped out. That's a little better. This is the little detent you have to depress. Problem is, it's right up against the body. So you've got to kind of put something on the side and then push it down. Uh, not as easy as it's looking here. You saw that. And I really boogered that up a little bit, but we got into it, and that's what counts. Let's take a look at what we got here. We have a key? Yes. Let's go ahead and turn that back. And we have a circlip.
Okay, let's see what we got. You're not making this easy on me, are you? That will work, but I'm going to have to slightly start moving it out and then turn the core. Just want to make sure I don't screw this up. Come on. Why aren't you coming out? All right, this little Abus will never work again, and I'm so sorry. I, this this is a good example of things don't always go right, and this is a perfect <laughs> example of that. Anyway, the core. First three were threaded, the back three were not. We've got a cutaway here, and this is what was screwing me up. It limited the turn to 90 degrees. There was a detent on the inside of there, but I don't think this was all my fault. Um, on the core itself, I had to file the top of the core to push the pins out and we had three threaded ones on this so it was two three and four so it kind of overlapped the first one but the other two were threaded only in the Bible itself uh, I had to file the top off because two of the pins were jammed up the springs had gotten past the driver pins and were hung up in the in the shear line um, give you show you what we got here these, I have never seen these before. These are hollow, hope that comes out on the camera, but all of the uppers had some kind of hollow part. Now they were modified, some of them had little grooves cut in them. Not all of them, some had little serrations, but I don't understand, I don't know if the spring was supposed to fit in the top of that or what, but something went awry and I think I probably raked uh, two of the key pins because they were so short up into the Bible and then when I turned it it pinched it and then on the other one we had this spring this one was caught back in that detent groove I uh, don't know how that happened get off of there but it did we really screwed up this what used to be a nice little abus is still a nice abus but it doesn't have a core anymore I'm so sorry about that but Dave's not there, not here. I'm 11. I'm sorry about messing up the lock. This is not the way it's supposed to go. It doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, things just explode. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Thanks for your patience.